Center for Disaster Philanthropy Recovery Funds provide local grants to help communities heal after a disaster. This means we're often working side by side with community members to understand needs and respond effectively. The road to recovery is long, yet, as you'll hear, the spirit of resilience and hope endures. It was about 8.30 or 9 in the morning while the crew came along and said, you've got to get out and you've got to get out now. And so we had about an hour just to throw whatever we could in the truck and get out. When a 37 feet hits, it's something that you're not prepared for. And I get a phone call, Donald, a house just went under the bridge. That's when the reality hit me that we've got a major problem here. I know everyone in this community, so who was it and who am I going to have to go talk to? So that was the part that gets me real emotional when I talk about that because that was devastating. The experience of the disaster is just like none other. Even when we started talking about it yesterday, you begin to relive all those emotions. At the elementary level, it was, it's going to rain again, is it going to flood? There's a, there's a real fear of rain still. In the junior high, it was my best friend's grandma. She lost her house. And that affects every child, everyone on this campus, in this district. If there's one affected, we all feel it. We unlocked the front door and I thought everything was just going to be wet and here it was all turned upside down and, and DJ went in ahead of me and my bed is upside down. <laughs> See it made mattresses float for a while and then they'd just flip over and uh, I just kept telling him, we're going to be okay, we just have a little cleaning up to do. You always see this on the news, you know, somebody has a disaster, you feel for those people. I think everybody in the back of their mind thinks that'll never happen to me. And then you wake up one morning and hey, it happens to your entire community. You know, we had prom happening the night it started raining. We had a big festival planned for the following weekend and then all of a sudden that all changes. Schools closed, people don't have jobs, we have one less grocery store. There's not power to part of the community because they had to turn off power for safety reasons. Everything that is the norm that you wake up to just disappeared all of a sudden. And then and you have to figure out what that new norm is going to be and really pull together and you know just figure out a way to move forward. Economically, it was tough. It was the beginning of May. Our tourist season starts at the end of May and the tourists weren't coming. So our businesses that were left open were suffering. In the beginning everybody does jump in and help and everybody comes from everywhere and then something else happens somewhere else a 24 news hour cycle you know is gone. So all of a sudden now it's like you're just standing here. So we feel like we're alone again. It's unbelievable the feeling of realizing that your neighbors lost everything. When you're walking through it, it just feels like one day after another and you don't feel like you're making any progress. But little by little we are. I think the flood give us resilience. You know, we don't quit. Our slogan is we don't need a handout, we just need a hand up. And that's all we're asking for. Our community, if something's wrong, somebody's always there to help pick you up. We're a pretty strong group of people. One of my favorite sayings is, in every disaster is the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. Why would you say that, Lee? Well, because I was trying to convince you that it may be a disaster, but that we were going to have um, a good recovery. And I think the town will recover. Center for Disaster Philanthropy really provided necessary tools for this community to have a successful recovery. They provide resources, but what they're really looking for is to empower the local community to move forward. And I think we've done that. People have really pulled together and we've you know, taken these resources as they've come and just ran with them as far as we could. While a sense of hope comes from the heart, it takes funders, large and small, to change hope to reality. A community's healing happens only because of people like you. Join us.